Hello YouTube, Mr. Patino here with another read aloud. We're going to continue reading Discovering Mars, the amazing story of the Red Planet. Today we're reading segment 3, pages 18 to through 27. Here we go. Modern astronomers have many new tools to help them. With bigger and better telescopes and with space spacecraft, they can see many more details on the surface of Mars. Other advanced instruments measure the temperature of Mars. They tell what chemicals are on the surface. They pick out different gases in the atmosphere. What have scientists found? Mars is very cold and very dry. Scattered across the surface are many giant volcanoes. Lava covers much of the land. In Mars' northern half, or hemisphere, is a huge raised area. It's about 2,500 miles wide. Astronomers call this the Great Terrace Bulge. Left. Four volcanoes in the northern half of Mars are the circular areas. To the le far left is Olympus Mons. The row of three volcanoes are Eris Mons, Pavanus Mons, and Acreus Mons. There are four mammoth volcanoes on the Great Tharsis Bulge. The largest one is Mount Olympus, or Olympus Mons. It is the biggest mountain on Mars. Some think it may be the largest mountain in the entire solar system. Mount Olympus is 15 miles high. At its peak is a 50 mile wide basin. Its base is 375 miles. An artist made this model of the basin of Mount Olympus using photographs taken by Mariner 9. The base is 375 miles across. That's nearly as big as the state of Texas. Mauna Loa in Hawaii is the largest volcano on Earth, yet compared to Mount Olympus, Mauna Loa looks like a little hill. The Hawaiian volcano is only five and a half miles high. Its base on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean is just 124 miles wide. There's a Mauna Loa, five and a half miles high and 124 miles wide. Mount Olympus, 15 miles high. Each of the other three volcanoes in the Great Tharsis Bulge are over 10 miles high. They are named Arsa Mons, Pavanus Mons, and Acreus Mons. The southern half or hemisphere of Mars has no big volcanoes, but it does have lots and lots of craters, giant holes in the ground. The craters have been dug by meteorites. Meteorites are pieces of stone and metal that smash into a planet from outer space. Some craters on Mars are enormous. The largest one is Helipenata, Greek plain. It is about 1,000 miles wide. That's the same distance between Chicago and New Orleans, and it is four miles deep. A view of Hellas Banana, area of Mars, and a combination of photos taken by Viking One. Chicago, 1,000 miles, New Orleans. Part of the Vallis Marines. Los Angeles, 3,000 miles, New York. The most fantastic site in the southern hemisphere of Mars is the Valles Marinas, Mariner Valley. The name comes from the spacecraft that took the first photos of this amazing feature. The Valles Marinas is a colossal valley cut into the surface of the planet. From end to end, the Valles Marinas is nearly 3,000 miles long. On Earth, it would stretch from New York to Los Angeles. From side to side is up 800 miles wide, and in some places, places is almost four miles deep from top to bottom. Valles Marinas is 
10 times larger and 10 times wider and twice as deep as the Grand Canyon. You can see the Grand Canyon and then the Valles Marinas, 800 miles wide. The grooves near the lower left section of this photograph taken by Viking One showed the Valles Marinas. Some experts say that Valles Marinas was formed by a giant split in the surface of Mars. Since it is near the Great Tharsis Bulge, it may have been caused by the volcanoes. Others think it was dug by a big powerful river cutting down through the Martian soil. By, 19, by the 1960s, scientists had learned much about Mars. Some astronomers then had a wild idea. Let's try to put a human being on the red planet. An artist's painting shows, showing astronauts exploring the Valles Marinas Canyon. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to another read aloud by Mr. Patino, Discovering Mars, Segment 3. I'll see you later. Bye.